Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Church of St. Francis of Assisi as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. This Mass is being celebrated for the intention of, for the special intention of Jose Luis y Maria Garcia, Joanna Sever, for the repose of the souls of Kevin Schneider, Peter Ha Nguyen, and Charlie Canova. Please silence your cell phones before the liturgy begins. A second collection for the renovation of the church will immediately follow our regular collection. Father Reuben has requested that masks be worn in the church and the outside sanctuary. Thank you for your collaboration in keeping our church a safe place for everyone. Before we begin, we ask all new parishioners and those visiting our parish to please stand. Thank you for joining us in our celebration of the Eucharist. Now, let us all stand and greet those around you. If possible, present yourself by giving your name. The St. Michael prayer can be found on the virtual worship aid. If you would like to pray along, scan the QR code on the chair in front of you. Sorry, <laughs> it's on the <laughs> screens. <laughs> Thank you. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And the power prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, throw us into hell, Satan, and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruins of the souls. Amen. Please remain standing and let us take a moment to center our hearts and minds in sacred silence. Please join in singing our gathering song, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Our Mass this morning is offered with the special intention of Jose Luis y Maria Garcia, Joanna Cyber, and for the repose of the souls of Kevin Snyder, Peter Nguyen, and Charlie Cavanoa. And also today, the Father is here with us. You want to introduce yourself? Quieres presentarte a la comunidad? Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. Welcome. I am Father Marco from Colombia. I'm going to visit my friend, Father Josh. My English is a little only. I wish you Merry Christmas and good for your family. He was a professor at the seminary of Holy Scripture, who studied in Rome and Jerusalem. He's good for languages. You want to talk to him in Hebrew, in, in some uh, Greek. You know, he's very good. Some French, some Italian. We have Italian families here. Tenemos familias en Italy, que hablan de italiano. So, you are welcome. And thank you for all the ministers. Thank you, Deacon, to be, you know, for being with us. All the beautiful music we enjoy. Thank you for the choir. Uh, thank you for the lectures, for the communal ministers, for the catechists, for the ministers of charity. All together we are building this beautiful church, the kingdom of God. So thank you very much. Let's pray also for the intentions of health and recovery of uh, our bishop, uh, Robert. And for all sisters and brothers who are sick, let's pray for them. Also for the intentions of the Pope Francis, uh, all the beautiful plans and projects to renew the whole world, to renew the church, and to renew each one of us. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of
let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bounds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal reward. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for his sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by his children. And when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. upon the 
the face of your anointed. Blessed are they, blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all the wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word, or indeed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, wives, be submissive to your husbands, subordinate to your husbands, as it is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and avoid any bitterness towards them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, and when he was twelve years old. They went up according to the festival custom. 
after they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looking for him among their relatives and their acquaintances, but did not find him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before both God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a beautiful celebration today here at our parish of St. Francis, with this beautiful community. And the scripture today, uh, first reading, invites us, as all the scripture readings, you know, bring us beautiful messages. Is that God sets Father in order over His children, a mother's. Authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When the prayers he is heard, he is source of riches who reveres his mother. And it's a call for us to, to remember that the beautiful treasure that we have family life. And we have grandchildren uh, who are the crowning glory of grandparents. And it's, it's beautiful, you know, to, to see those grandparents, grandma, grandpa, enjoying grandchildren. Uh, how many years together? 40 years. Do you have grandchildren? Are they very good to you? <laughs> For Christmas, what gifts do you receive? So you are a spoiled one, huh? Thank you. How many sons and daughters do you have? Just one. What do you think about this message? Marriage may you family. Love may you my son. What do you think about that? About that guy? You didn't have a son, but he's your son. What of you? How about this one? 
Our daughter gave you, gave you her heart. Now you have ours. Another one, beautiful. And how many years together? Two years. Blessings to you. And one day, when I went to visit the grand mom, and she said, you know, I heard many people teasing me and teasing grandma. And they blame us for many things. Who is fault? Grandma. Because she, she come and interferes in the relationship. And she said, but who gave you that beautiful wife? Your mother-in-law. So it's nice to have appreciation for those grandma, grandpa, because they are gifts from the Lord. And I invite you to, to keep to keep uh, uh, loving your grandma. Marisol, are you here? <laughs> I don't know what happened here. I'm not good for technology. So this one, respect your parents because they are the one who will never let you down at any cost. They always will be with you. Love them. And that was the story about Jesus. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house when he got lost? And the Virgin Mary, you know, came looking for him and St. Joseph. And that was a hard time for St. Joseph. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look at your father, or Joseph, and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. That was the complaint of the Virgin Mary to Jesus. And the answer of Jesus, didn't you know I have to be in my father's house. Jesus always trying to do God's will, his father's will. And it's an invitation to all of us to think about that we are called to do God's will. And in this case, Jesus was found in the temple. But how about today? Where father, mother, sons and daughters got lost. Where do they found? Sometimes alcohol, drugs, some addiction that hurt them. Like two weeks ago, I was reading the newspaper and I heard that Vince Jackson, the football player of, uh, of Chargers, very good one, I enjoy when he play, but he died. Too much drinking. And I imagine for the father and mother, they had difficult time. Addictions kill young people. And let's pray for those young people that they choose the right path as Jesus did. Come to the temple. Bring them to the religious education classes. Because they need to form their conscience to know about the kingdom of God. And it's important 
that we pray for them and help them out to be close to the Lord. The second read from St. Paul to the Colossians, Paul to the Colossians said, Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Those virtues that you have to practice. Where do they learn? Or do we, where do we learn those virtues? Like St. Joseph, the Virgin Mary, the child Jesus. He grew up learning from St. Joseph, from the Virgin Mary, through their example, those virtues. I remember when we went to, to Holy Land and we went to Nazareth. And I saw a beautiful painting. And that was Jesus and St. Joseph working, doing their work, carpenters. And the Virgin Mary, she was preparing a good lunch for them. It's so nice to see Jesus, the Son of God, helping St. Joseph. And it's a good example for the young people. Help your mother. Help your father. Help grandpa. Help grandma. Work together. In my home, we were six boys, one girl, four mom, a lot of work to do. So our mom told us, I need help. You have to learn how to cook. I was in charge to do breakfast. Wake up early morning and do breakfast for the whole family. It's beautiful to help. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Father. To teach me how I can help. It's an invitation to you to follow the example of Jesus, the example of the Lord. I'm sorry, I put some Spanish. <laughs> A healthy family life requires frequent use of these three phrases. May I? Thank you. I'm sorry. I'll never, never, never in the day without making peace. If you are upset, your husband, your wife, grandpa, grandma, your father, your mother, make peace. Be humble. Sometimes it requires from us to be humble. Right, Deacon? You are parent. How many children do you have? Three. Three, eh? And we need to be humble. If you make mistakes, we need to ask, like Deacon, Father, your son asking, I'm sorry. Deacon, Father, I made a mistake. Forgive me. We need to be humble. And it's an invitation to all of you. This one from Pope Francis. We have a Lord who is capable of crying with us, capable of walking with us in the most difficult moments of life. He said this in 2015. Thank you, Pope. Thank you, Jesus, because he walked with us. And if you have troubles in family, you know, go to a retreat, couple retreat. Beautiful. Here in the parish, in the diocese, don't get divorced right away. Think about it. You have sons. You have daughters. And you can avoid divorce. Going to a beautiful retreat that 
you will enjoy and you work out those difficult times that is normal. And remember what the scripture said today. What is your name? And you? How many years? Forty together. Pope said, Pope Francis said, don't look to your husband for perfection. He is a human being. Don't look to your wife for perfection. He's a human being. As human, we may mistake. And we have to know each other, help one another. I imagine in those 40 years, how many times they forgive one another. Because they love each other. Pope said, perfection in heaven. Now in earth, we are human beings. So forgive one another. Be humble, as St. Paul said. And I said, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Forgive me. It's love. Love is patient. And we need to love with patience. And to help one another. But remember, perfection only in heaven. Here on earth, we are human. And we need to pray and to ask forgiveness each day of life. So for this, one, two, three, four, five guys, give a hand to this beautiful family. Eh? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being witnesses of love. And in this week, I know you are going to talk to God. I invite you to take some to pray, to talk to the Lord. I suggest some questions. One, do you love your parents? Do you love your grandparents? And have told them your appreciation for all they have done for you. The second one, are you at peace with your parents, your sisters, your brothers, your grandparents? I believe in one God. Of all that is seen and unseen, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the only Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not big, one potential with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And the Holy Spirit was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to the rest of the living. And he will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I for forgiveness of sins. I for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. I ask that the candidates and the catechumens please come forward. My dear candidates,
candidates and catechumens, we find ourselves celebrating the feast of the Holy Family within the Christmas season because it is a celebration of the presence of Jesus among us. May your relationship within your own families be guided by the virtues presented in the readings and in the homily, the virtues of compassion, kindness, humility, patience, forgiveness, and love. And may the love that binds you to your families extend beyond them to those in need of your patience, your forgiveness, and love. Go now in the peace of Christ to reflect on the scriptures and break open the word of God in your lives. Amen. Amen. Let's present to the Lord our petitions, petitions of the people of the Diocese and the Universal Church. That all members of the church, through God's grace, may be faithful to the mission entrusted to us by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that those in authority may be guided by the Holy Spirit in seeking justice for their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear that those who suffer from chronic illness may be relieved and healed through the gracious mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that this faith community may grow in faith, hope, and love, transformed by the grace to a life of gospel fidelity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For the homebound, the sick, Dennis Easterling, Jim, Jim Hunter, Crystal Hernandez, Jason Castillo, Louis Perez, Benicia Rodriguez, and for their caregivers. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, Alfonso Escutia, may he rest forever in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord this Mass is being offered for the special intention of Jose Luis and Maria Garcia, Joanna Seber, for the repose of the souls of Kevin Snyder, Peter High Nguyen, and Charlie Canova. Let us pray to the Lord. For those intentions written in our book of petitions and for those intentions we carry in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we ask that in your love, you hear and answer the prayers we bring to you today through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. During the preparation of the gifts, let us sing together, Love Goes On.
Praise sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, and thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs>
you are indeed holy, and to be glorified of God, who loved the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples on our cross, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify this gift of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you have led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at the right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show for the paschal sacrifice of the Jesus Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of your love, we may be counted now and until that day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bound of communion together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, with the all other bishops, with the priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the sign of time by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them to the good of the salvation and go forward with them along the way to your kingdom. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of Jesus Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. 
Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face. And in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our early pilgrimage is done, that we may come to eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles, martyrs, St. Francis of Assisi, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and in him and with him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us share with one another now a sign of that peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be saved. El cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo nos guarden para la vida eterna.
Here in communion, let us sing together. What child is this?
2022 calendars have arrived and are available in the parish office Tuesday through Friday during business hours. St. Joseph Sunday Missal prayer books are available in the parish office for a $5 donation. You may pick one up in the office. Due to unpredictable weather, all masses will be held in the church through New Year's. The parish office and the church will be closed the week of December 27th through December 31st. The church will only open for the 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. masses daily. The parish office will be extending its lunch hours from 11.45 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday for staff training. We thank you in advance for your understanding. Congratulations to the Rosales family. They were the winners of the 43-inch color TV that was being raffled by the Confirmation and Youth Ministries. Thank you to those who participated. The Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, will be celebrated on Friday, December 31st at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. On Saturday, January 1st at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. The Epiphany of the Lord will be celebrated during the regular Saturday Vigil and Sunday Mass schedule. Please be sure to take home a copy of the bulletin or visit our parish website at St. Francis of Assisi Vista for more information regarding the announcements just made and activities at our parish. Today is a beautiful day uh, for all of us and for Jose Luis y Maria Garcia. Please come forward, Jose Luis y Maria Garcia. Is Maricela here? Cecilia, Rosalba, Maria Eugenia, Fernando? Come, come with your parents. Those guys celebrate today 50 years of marriage. Give a hand to them. <laughs> do we have grandchildren here? Do you, do you have the grandchildren here? The 10 grandchildren? Come forward, join them. Grandchildren, come forward. Be proud of this grandpa, grandma, 50 years together. They are witnesses of love. Thank you, Jose Luis. Thank you, Maria, for being witnesses of love. Where did you get married, Jose Luis? Where did you get married? What church? Congratulations. Where did you meet that beautiful lady? <laughs> Were neighbors, a classmate? Fueron a la escuela juntos? ¿Dónde la viste, vecina? ¿Se la presentó un amiguito? <laughs> Congratulations, Heavenly Father. We ask you to bless and this day, Jose Luis and Maria Garcia, thank you for those 50 years together, for all the love, compassion, mercy, charity that they live with the sons and daughters. Bless them and grandchildren, 10 grandchildren. Bless them, all of them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and give a hand to them. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, 
to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. And as we are being sent forth, together let us sing Angels We Have Heard on High.